make fish cakes, we need fish. And that all starts here, at a port. Every day, lots of fishing boats come into this port with their catch of fish. But where do they go from here? They're brought here to a fish filleting factory. And all along this line are where the fish are sorted and cleaned. There are lots of different types of fish, like this pink fish here, called salmon. But for our fish cakes today, we're using this type of fish. It's called a cod. Isn't it huge? This is Simon, and it's his job to prepare the fish. He uses a knife to very carefully take the meat off the bones of a whole fish, and we call this filleting. Next, Simon cuts the cod into chunks. But to turn this into fish cakes, we're going to need some more ingredients. First, we need potatoes. They've already been peeled and sliced, and now they're put onto a conveyor. At the top, the potatoes are dropped into this steaming silver tube, and inside, the potatoes are cooked. For our fish cakes, we need mashed potatoes. And you might have had mashed potatoes at home, or even used a potato masher. But to mash lots and lots of potatoes, we need something much bigger than this. So here, there's a giant potato masher with a rotating blade inside that chops and mashes the cooked potatoes. The fresh mashed potato is then sucked along this tube where it's then spread out onto a tray. Ooh, here it comes. That is perfect mashed potato, not a lump in sight. Wow. This is the really exciting bit, where all of the ingredients are mixed together. And first, the fish is lifted and tipped into this huge tank. Look at all of the fish tumbling around. Now, after a little bit of mixing, the other ingredients are added. In goes the mashed potato. <laughs> then dried potato flakes, salt, and a green herb called parsley are added. The mixing machine has two blades that turn around, and these mix all of the ingredients together. The finished fish cake mixture is tipped into this huge funnel, and I'm going to see if I can watch this on my special camera. pipes and measured out into dollops. And there they are. Each one enough for one fish cake. And the dollops are pressed into fish cake shapes. There's just one last thing our fish cakes need, and that is a coating. So first, they're dusted in a layer of flour, and then they're drizzled with butter. Butter is a sticky mixture helps to glue on the final coating, breadcrumbs. This is my special slow motion camera and it lets me see things slow right down. So, let's take a look at the breadcrumbs. Whoa, it's like having a breadcrumb shower. Next, the fish cakes are dipped in very hot oil to make the coating nice and crispy, before being frozen in a very cold freezer means we can store the fish cakes for longer. And here they come out the other side, frozen solid. Can you hear the sound as they rattle down their little slide? <laughs> How brilliant is that? For the final stage, the frozen fish cakes travel along this conveyor, where they're put into little plastic packets and sealed to keep them fresh. And here we have a finished pack of fish cakes. They're all being boxed up so they can be sent to shops, ready for us to buy and cook at home. I love fish cakes. What was your favourite bit about seeing how frozen fish cakes are made? Do you 
remember what fish was used in the fish cake? That's right, it was cod. Did you hear the sound of the frozen fish cakes rattling down the slide? <laughs> How brilliant is that? And did you see the breadcrumbs pouring onto the fish cakes on my special camera? It looked like a shower.